Hey everyone, Ellen here from the American Glass Expo. We are here at the Goose Fire Glass Center, which is a combination glass blowing studio and glass gallery. They're hosting an event this weekend for Nate Myers, a pipe maker and glass artist. Let's go check it out. at the Goosefire Glass Center and I'm here with Nate Myers who's got his opening right now. Nate, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. What inspires you usually when you're you know, putting together your glass art? What really inspires me is really just the infiniteness of space. I mean, I know it's kind of cliche. There's just so much to do and it, so much of it falls in line with glass too. So every day I'm just coming up with new ideas or driving home and thinking about what technique might transfer well in glass. And, it's just been so infinite, really. Well, that's amazing. I mean, everything that you've brought today is just fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about what you think is a little different from this body of work that you've brought as opposed to what you usually do? And what's so special about this particular collection? It was my first solo show, so I really just wanted to incorporate a lot of my friends that I work with throughout the years, bring back some popular designs and concepts that have done bring some fresh new ones into the game. It was really just about having a lot of fun, really. The space stuff that I brought in, so I'm really happy to bring those to the table, like Signature Marini and just new Marini in general, some new shaping, um, lots of sets, just more complete, um, like refined sets that have the Pelicans that are custom done um, with the, you know, just a real, like, almost an experience. So it's been fun to kind of release and play with a few of those ideas. Tell me what you think the most important thing is about doing these gallery openings. I mean, for you as an artist, what do you feel like it does for your career? What do you feel like it does for other artists who are aspiring to come? I think it's just that exposure, but also, like, uh, just getting to meet everybody firsthand. I've always been really involved with my online community and stuff. It's really a good chance to shake hands, or just kind of put names to faces. What artists you might have wanted to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Uh, Darby probably comes to mind first. At some point I do want to spend some time out in Oregon. Is there a piece that just really stands out in your mind? The first one that really comes to mind is this particular set that I did with Maccabi. We've done some collaborations together in the past. So on this mini tube on both sides, underneath the can of it, uh, there's a section of his fume work that's layered under the space. There's a particular spot on both the front and the back where his fume spirals come out into kind of a circle opposing spirals. And so I've just put the Millies, the rocket, and the UFO right in the center, like it's blasting through, and it just looks like this trail. So I had Beyond Grasp did the custom painted cases. And yeah, so those painted cases are pretty awesome. He went hard in the paint, <laughs> I guess you could say. Yeah, and so everything's already plucked for him. I just wanted it to be an experience. Well, thank you, Nate. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. All right.